What's up, everybody? Justin here, bringing you another poorly reviewed beer. Uh, back at it after Booze Free February, and uh, it's good to be back doing reviews. This is my uh, first one, not not live per se, but the first review I've done in uh, over a month, and I'm excited to check out this beer that I have. A collaboration between uh, Against the Grain Brewery in Louisville, Kentucky, and Magic Rock Brewing in Huddersfield, UK. This is Shades of Grey Black and White Pale Ale. I'm sorry, Black and White India Pale Ale. All right, let's see if I know, I uh, remember how to do this. Uh, notes from the can, a collaboration. This collaboration beer is the result of a deep appreciation and respect for our friends at Magic Rock Brewing, located in Huddersfield, UK. Like-minded, we are inspired by the boundaries of modern brewing, and this beer is a testament to that philosophy. Drink up, wankers. We don't see color, and neither do they. So in a world of black and white, we give you gray. Or actually red. Okay. The okay is the, on the can as well. All right, let's give it a pour. Ah. Uh, for that, found it somewhere. 6.7% ABV. And as you can see, a, a large can, 16-ounce can. Okay, so good amount of head. We'd probably say two to three finger, about two and a half fingers worth of head on this beer. It's a nice copper color. Holding up to the light, it's kind of a, a burnt orange, uh, kind of iced tea-like color. Both, uh, I would say either way, either both holding it up to the light and uh, and just normally. Uh, slightly, well, might just be chill haze on the, the glass, yeah, but it seems to be pretty well see-through. Maybe just a little bit of haziness, but again, that could be coming from a chill haze uh, yet. Uh, can't see much in the way of carbonation. Actually, can't see anything at all in the way of carbonation as I hold it up to the light. So uh, that's that. So that head's holding on uh, fairly well. Fairly fine bubbles overall. Um, let's uh, give it a try. So I will say this is my uh, my first beer back after Booze Free February. I haven't had anything yet. I suppose that's a good thing it only being about 4 o'clock on March the 1st. Uh, so just give me a second here. A fair amount of sweetness. Definitely getting some uh, pine or spruce notes. It is um, mildly to moderately bitter. That bitterness really does hang around even uh, even once the drinking experience is over after I swallow. So, uh, um, but it's not. It's certainly very present. I wouldn't quite call it overpowering. A little bit of dankness. I'm almost kind of thinking like a like a hop candy, something like that. Um, I feel like I'm getting something like a black licorice or something, maybe something that's a little bit burnt as well. Maybe a. Hmm. Whole lot going on in this beer, though. It's a. Uh, a uh, very unique drinking experience, I must say. Uh, I think I'm still getting back into the game a little bit, frankly. And I think I challenged myself on the the first beer out of the block. Uh, moderate body. Uh, but just something 
maybe a tobacco kind of a thing or uh, something something dank something can't quite can't quite identify it it's warming a little and the the, the, the bite the hop bite is ramping up a little bit uh, but really interesting um, IPA very very different from most everything I've had prior to this so I'm really glad for that uh, nice unique drinking experience uh, probably one more than the one again the the the, the hot bites ramping up a good bit so uh, probably finishing this can will probably be more than enough for me but um, really really neat stuff interesting stuff coming out from uh, from magic rock and from against the grain Great stuff. Uh, real interesting stuff. So that is it for this edition of Poorly Reviewed Beer. You can find all of my reviews, video, and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find links and usernames for all those in the description below. Uh, getting a lot of hot bite in, my, uh, in the aftertaste. A lot of hot bites still. Um, I don't know where I am in the, in the, uh, the exit, so... Uh, I'll just say thanks for watching and I will see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.